welcome back to my channel if you're new here go ahead and click like you know give me a thumbs up go ahead and click subscribe and um go ahead and share you know um pisces this is your reading welcome back all right so we're just gonna get straight into it i'm gonna go in here with my bigger deck y'all know what's going on all right i do have my music playing in the background i do play music so if you don't want to hear my music this might not be the channel for you Okay, I do smoke, so um, this might not be the channel for you. Without further ado, we're just going to go in here for our Pisces. Hold on. Okay, we have a card. Okay, and we have the Queen of Wands for our Pisces. All right, so with the Queen of Wands energy, is somebody who sits on their throne. Um, I'm definitely seeing somebody, um, there is a... I don't know if there's like a certain type of negativity around you, but however, you're not letting it phase you simply because it's like you have your power, you have your, it's like money, power, respect. It's like you have that going on for you, okay? You have your happiness on one hand and you have your money or whatever. And the other hand, you're being touched and guided by the divine, okay? Yeah. But however, you're still looking to, hmm, see what you're looking to. Maybe looking to see your success, maybe looking for your next come up, okay? Alright. What's going on here? First card, we do have the Queen of Swords reverse. You can have two queens in a castle, but with the Queen of Swords here, it's just like um you may be either not trying to hear some type of truth or um uh, there's a truth hidden from you like you're being divinely protected from it okay i do have the four of pentacles reversed here so it may be somebody trying to hold on tight it may have something to do with the past or something you hold near and dear to your heart okay and um something is very uh it's more of a, a stability thing okay okay especially with the uh, death card excuse me not card card okay with this 13 being a number of feminine okay divine feminine energy here with the high priest it's just like um you may have did it a situation or you're being protected from something that you hold near your heart but you're you're being guided to uh dead this because you know that you have to either let this go or go towards new horizons okay maybe you're leveling up and, and glowing up i definitely see you cutting people back and cutting people off okay especially with the seven of wands reverse here you may not want to move on however um it is warranted here I just heard everything is all right, okay? Everything will be all right, okay? Hold on. It's so many cards to fill, but I do have the devil card here, okay? So you may be being protected from um, some type of karmic or karma karmic cycle or karmic person, okay? With a relationship or some type of friendship, okay? Yeah, because what this was the card they fell on the four, the seven of swords. So definitely something shady, but you already probably know about it because I do have the hierophon card here. Yeah, you already know about it. Yeah, with the three of swords here, definitely could be a heartbreak, something you hold, um, holding on to from the past, something like that. Somebody may be trying to come in and give you a new opportunity, or maybe you want to go towards new opportunities. But however, you you need to heal first, Pisces. Okay, I'm definitely seeing. Um, if you don't, if you hold on to uh, all that baggage and shit, you're gonna be a bag person. Nobody's gonna fuck with you because that's all you talk about. That's all. That's all you're about. Okay. Because I have the Knight of Cups energy too, so definitely um, you're romantic in life. Okay. With the Knight of Cups trying to bring uh, share the cup of love. Okay. But with the King of Wands energy here for this Death card and the perseverance, it's just like no matter how charming, or authoritative, or whatever, whatever this person got and all that, it's thinly thrown dead that shit. Because if you don't, like, I see you don't want to move on, but you just did that shit. Yeah. Page of Wands. Page of Wands coming in with some type of news about this shit. All right. What What is news for our Pisces? Okay, the Three of Wands reversed here. Definitely a third part situation. It could be you traveling. Um, yeah, so you could be traveling with a third party. I'm seeing, like, maybe friends or some type of business trip. If not, I'm definitely seeing you, like, um, really just watching yourself, okay? I do have the uh, Temperance card reversed here. You could be dealing with the fire sign, but it's asking you to... Um, temper yourself because you haven't been doing that lately because you're either being tested and it's saying like you will either fall or you will lose money okay i'm seeing that as well too all right it's, it's asking you to learn how to um manifest pisces what else is going on here for our pisces going once well dang i didn't say like that i thought i just dropped something i didn't going once Going twice. Thank you. 
All right, and then we do have the Five of Wands reversed here. Like I said, with the shady stuff here, with that Seven of Wands. Because on the same thing, it's like, yeah, you're being protected from some type of truth, some type of drama. Okay, some type of headbutting, some type of, how do you say, like, um, brawl or fight or some type of unnecessary drama, entanglements, all type of weird shit. Okay, yeah. The Two of Swords reversed here just jumped out. Definitely, you had made a decision. You're tired of being in limbo with this shady situation, the shady thing. And it was, it was regarding your love life, but however you said, you deserve more especially with the ace of cups you start pouring into yourself and your security and you start helping others and doing what makes you happy okay because we do have the dove here we have everything balanced here okay you're regrowing you're renewing you're regenerating okay i had the ace of pentacles arrested also turned over okay like i said money's coming like you know what i'm saying you're coming into a new person a new paradigm shift a new mindset okay especially with the high priest reversed here but it's just like in order to do that you have to sit and know that everything is not just black and white okay because with the high priest card it is black and white. Somebody's name could be a B. Somebody's name could be a J. I don't know. Okay, but what I'm seeing here is like when you make your decision or once you make your decision, you will have to stand on it, okay? All right, because when I'm seeing like something revealed to you or you probably already know about it, okay? Especially with the justice card reverse there. You're going to get your justice. That's, you're finally going to get your justice with the Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Especially with the Seven of Wands here reversed here, okay? Because you may be having a, a super long transition or you like you've been waiting on this shit for so long and you probably gave up on it or you probably thought it would never come, okay? Especially with this Two of Cups energy, it could be um, requiring either love, peace of mind, mutual attraction, um, all type of shit. I'm definitely seeing um, like a bond, like something that is holistic, like health, like good for you, okay? It, there could be a house or some type of housing issues, okay? that um kind of go away i'm definitely seeing you moving somewhere moving up uh, closer to somebody okay if not more intimate okay especially with the knight of pentacles here you come to bring your love come to bring a message you coming to visit them you may be come, they're bringing you this offer period okay with the hermit card here you may be sitting here questioning the offer but you may be really focused on your life focus on your um your creativity, your business, you know, soul searching, you know, just having time to yourself to really know you because it's like, how can you give yourself to somebody if you don't know yourself or how can you do something for somebody if you can't do it for yourself, okay? Especially with the Tick the Swords energy, you may have to embark on this new journey with yourself and it's going to be different, but it's just like you have to go into karma waters. You have to switch things up to make shit work, okay? Especially with the Ten of Swords reverse here, you have to end that cycle of hurt, that harm, okay? Yeah, because we do have the King of Cups energy here and that is the Eight of Wands. It's not going to be no quick communication, but when it comes, it's going to come, okay? Especially with the King of Cups energy here. Somebody could either have blue eyes, okay? Uh, emotionally shy, they could be you. I'm definitely seeing that as well, too. Or you might just be a gentle a gentle soul, okay? With the Eight of Swords energy here, you need to get out that box that you put yourself in, your frustrations, your um, anxieties, all that shit. You need to let that shit go, okay? We know what it was, but with the shady shit, it's just like... Like they like Jay Z always say, yeah, nigga, less is more, nigga, it's plenty of us. Okay, keep your circle small. All right, with the yeah, because we have the uh, wheel of fortune here reversed, and then we have the queen of wands energy here. They could be you, but I'm just seeing somebody who's very outspoken, very fiery. Or remember, you need the energy around you. Okay, some positive energy around you. You may have a friend like that, or somebody you know. Okay, especially with this wheel of fortune card here, I'm definitely seeing. Um, you're being hesitant about it, but you have to, because that's the icing on the cake. Like, that's 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 what it is. Like, okay? Yeah, with the hyphen car, you know that. It's like you know that everything is balanced, okay? You you probably could have had, like, a marriage or scene in public with this person, or you could have just been real, real serious, okay? But my thing is this. Look, this shit is official. You're official. Like, I'm seeing you coming up. You're going to be able to come up. Yeah, like, you, you got some J's on trying to get your money okay yeah with the sun card here you may be yeah you're trying to get your money your happiness you're trying to get everything right and you're chasing it in the right way especially with the death card here you may be trying to dead everything around you especially with the seven of swords and all the sneaky energy around you yeah it's like you're 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 taking all your energy and transmuting it to something positive okay yeah you're you're going through the dot not of the soul phase because i have the individuals uh the under 3000 card individuality and then i have the royalty card Okay, I'm going to read them both. It says, freedom. Ooh. It says, freedom of expression is a gift what makes you, you. Always feel comfortable expressing yourself. Regardless of what other things, your styles, your beliefs, your interests to create a unique picture to share with the world, okay? Trust me, you got your own card. You're your own carbon copy, okay? 666. Don't, don't forget it. Okay, especially with the royalty card here. Acknowledge the royalty in your DNA. Courtesy of divine and your ancestors, I say. 
period. The, the blood that runs through your veins is made up of the same particles that create our universe. Hold your head up high and display your crown because you know what it is, okay? Yeah, doing it better. I'm seeing you doing it better, okay? All right. What well, What's coming towards my Pisces? Let's see what they got going on. Any additional messages? Oh, yeah, I have the judgment card reversed here. This person is getting a judgment, like I said, okay? Yeah, we have the Eight of Wands here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Because one thing about it, you're going to be shooting for the stars. You're going to be famous. You may have a lot of no notoriety. If not, with this Nine of Pentacles, you're going to come up and everybody knows that you're looking good doing it, okay? You're getting your money and you're looking good doing it, okay? This person just wants to be around and be around with the Queen of Swords energy, and you know that. It's asking you to really step into yourself and really listen. Listen to your gut, okay? Because with the Seven of Swords, something is shady, yeah. Got the devil card literally just came out. Like, yo, you bugging. Like I said, you bugging because I have the, the chariot card here. You can have everything, have fun, have all, everything makes you happy. Really just be goal driven, be driven, all that. You on, you on the move, you in your bag, you chasing your bag. Yeah, so the Wheel of Fortune card here is asking you to end that cycle, okay? And pour into yourself and, and pour out all that pain, turn that pain into profit, okay? Period. All right. Then I'm going to go in here with my spiritual wellness and see what y'all need to do to speed yourselves up. To speed on a spiritual health, body health, mind, body, and soul. All right. Give me some stuff for my Pisces. What they need to know, what they need to do. Give me. Thank you. Intuition. Like I said, listen to yourself. Your, listen to your mind, your body, your spirit, your outer, everything, your auric field. Listen to the energies around you, okay? I'm definitely seeing you need to be very open and cognizant to your own energy as well, too. Especially your sacral chakra as well, too. Okay? You might need to... Um, I wish I had some ja my Jasper. I'm uh, not my Jasper, excuse me. Like some topaz or something, but I don't. Okay, but look for fairies, okay? Look for the happiness, the positivity. Look for the unknown. Stay towards the unknown, okay? Okay. And then we do have the pleasure card here. So, you know, spoil yourself. You know yourself. Spoil yourself, you know. Learn yourself, okay? All right. And then we're going to go in here. And we're going to see what your person and what people have to say towards you. This is the 18 plus part of the reading. If you don't want to see that, you may want to exit out. Okay. First things first, I'm going to, to read the cards that I have. This is the eye content when I put it in. Okay. So maybe this person likes when you look at them or you like how the way that they look. Their expression. Okay. Edging. So you could like to, um, how do you say, be teased or this person likes to be teased as well. All right, especially with the friend zone. So maybe you friend zone this person, Pisces. Either you friend zone this person or they friend zone you. And then I see someone's getting pregnant. So you either got somebody pregnant or somebody around you is pregnant. Or somebody around this person in your energy is pregnant, okay? What else is being said? Not you two turns up. Like, somebody's two turns up here, Okay. Yeah, somebody's saying they don't love them. So some, one of you, either you're in a relationship or, or they're in one or they have people, okay? Because somebody says, ooh, sex worker. So this person could be a sex worker. You may feel that they have healing hands or you may feel like they can heal you, but you may um, you may uh, have friends on this person, okay? Or maybe this person is pregnant and you friends on them because they were pregnant, okay? But you don't love this person or this person doesn't even love you or somebody's not loved here, okay? Let's see what's in my deck. I do have wet dreams and I, and I see I want to come all over that deck. Okay, period. But no hit me on the dumb shit. I'm over here got Drake playing in the background. But yeah, this person is like, they want to take you up through there or you want to take them up through there. Okay, what else is going on here? Going once. Going twice. Okay. And sold. Whoa. Okay, so we do have the best pussy ever card. Okay, Pisces. You either have somebody who has the pussy or that's you, period. Okay, but somebody says that they're bored with their partner. That could be why they don't love them. Like, you, they may have a partner, but it's like they're bored with their partner and they don't love them, okay? This person may be either nasty and passionate or they want to be nasty and passionate. Passing in. What? Sis, what? Get it together, sis. 
Um, but nasty and passionate towards you. Okay, especially with the mac and cheese noises. This person may feel like you're very wet, you're very sticky. Um, you're the perfect person, the perfect mixture, the perfect viscosity. You know what I'm saying? All right, and then it says, it's my dick and I need it now. So maybe you want this person to be possessive or maybe they're possessive over you. All right, and maybe you just playing, like, you just playing. And, that's, and they say, I hit it one time and I'm stuck. All right, and then we have best pussy ever. So maybe you feel like this person, if you hit it one time, you'll be stuck, okay? This person could be a sex worker. All right, but you could have friend zone them. All right. But this person is like, I, I need it now, like, Yeah. And then I'm at the bottom of my deck, I have eat it from the bag. So maybe this person wants you to eat it from the bag, okay? And then I see the work on that dick. So maybe they like booty. You got a big booty or something, okay? And then I see I only submit to you. Okay, so somebody feel like you got the the thing. Okay, ooh. Only in it for the sex. You already know what that is, Pisces. You are dispersing. Take a high resonates, all right? Energy and time is fluid. But alright, if you made it to the end of my reading, go ahead and give and send me a what's the emoji this time? Put a cactus. Alright, if you made it to the end of this reading, put a cactus, okay? Alright. Bye.